All right, hello YouTube. It's been a while since I posted a video, probably been a month at least. But yeah, this is my turbo IDI build. I did a completely custom turbo kit on this motor. So uh, yeah, it's been a very interesting process and um, it's been a budget option so far. Basically, I got the turbo in a trade, basically free. Um, I sold an intercooler as well that I got with the trade for a pretty handsome profit so free turbo we got some oil lines off of amazon they were like 30 bucks and okay so then we come to the very interesting part which i'm sure you all are wondering why this turbo is right here instead of you know over there or somewhere in the valley pen like it usually is um i'm not gonna edit this video at all so i apologize for the whatever gaps in the conversation but yeah so normally an idi the exhaust runs along this passenger side of frame rail and goes all the way out the back and exits out the back but i changed it up a little bit see i did a 180 degree turn with this two and a half inch exhaust pipe you can find this at your auto parts stores basically 290s and then we shot it up and you have to take out the fender well so we do we do not have a fender well i'll be making a custom one out of sheet metal here pretty soon but and kind of a heat shield as well but um as you can see i just ran it up and it's important to tuck it back into there especially if you're running 33 inch tires like i am um but yeah so make sure you tuck that exhaust as far in as you possibly can get it I don't rub and I have 33s so it's really not a problem I could probably fit 38s on this thing and not even not even think twice okay so then as you can see we come top side here I routed it up and I went from a two and a half to a three inch and this is the most important part is that you get the right flange this is a GT45 turbo, by the way. They're like $200 on Amazon. They're super cheap. And then I got a T4 flange, which is what the bottom of a GT45 turbo goes into. And I welded it to the up pipe for the turbo. And then, as you can see, bolted it on. It comes with threaded. It's a threaded plate. I might link it down in the description. But it's really nice. Um, it was only like 20 bucks. Then we had to get a 4 inch 90. Now that was an expensive piece. But if I wasn't an idiot, I probably would have could have found that for a lot cheaper. I had to buy it. So it was $80 for a 4 inch 90. Um, but yeah, as you can see, that worked out pretty well. V-band the real deal all v-band stuff and yeah we do have a small oil leak which i'm sure y'all are commenting about do not worry these motors anyways leak about about a gallon of oil a day so you don't have to worry about that um it'll get fixed eventually um and then the oil lines so as i said before this is an oil line off of Amazon. I ran it back to the oil pressure sensor there in the back. Um, just teed off of that and then ran it to the turbo. The oil drain line is a half inch fitting. So basically I went on, went to Lowe's, got a bunch of half inch fitting stuff. And I'll go to the other side because it's simpler to explain. But I drilled a hole in the valve cover and ran the drain into the valve cover instead of trying to do it into the oil pan because y'all know how hard it is to get an oil pan off of these things so yeah that made i made that work the turbo is high enough where it'll still drain down into there um but yeah other than that stay tuned for the cold side or the charge pipes because that's going to be a very interesting alternator bracket is kind of in the way so i might have to modify that and make that work and 
then it should be pretty straightforward from there. I'm also gonna make my own custom turbo hat to sit on top of the intake because I got some pipe laying around, so that should work. But yeah, I'm gonna be doing some truck pulls with it this summer. So make sure y'all subscribe and click the bell because you wanna be notified as soon as I upload because it's gonna be very interesting content as, as always. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this five minute and 31 second yap session and I'll catch you next time.